everyone, Dr. Arid Hickman here from Lake Burien Physical Therapy. And I just wanted to put together a really quick video um, to answer or try to address this question of what is chronic pain? Um, the, old, the old definition of chronic pain used to be that if a patient or somebody has pain that's well beyond the time it takes for tissue to heal, then we would call it chronic. So most tissue, actually all tissue in the body, has a certain amount of time that it takes for it to heal or as long as it'll heal as well as it's going to heal. Uh, if we take, you know, bones, for example, three to six months, um, skin can be less than that, depending on how big a cut it is, right? For some of you, if you've had a paper cut or even a slice across the hand or somewhere else in the body, it can be a few weeks before that heals fully. Um, if you have something more severe, like you've, like I mentioned, breaking a bone, or if muscle tissue gets injured or damaged during something traumatic, some traumatic event, it can take a lot longer for that tissue to heal. But again, the guidelines for tissue healing is about three to six months. So what we used to say was that if a patient has had pain that's lasted well beyond the time of three to six months or well beyond the time of normal tissue healing, then we now can say that those symptoms are chronic. However, it's a little bit more complicated than that. In fact, recent research has shown that because we know that pain is produced in the brain in response to some perceived threat or message that's coming from the body, that it more has to do with something that's happening in the brain and that there is a shift in terms of brain activity. So they've done countless studies where they've looked at brain scans and they've looked at how somebody's brain functions when they're at rest or when they're doing activity. And if somebody's brain is not dealing with chronic pain, it reacts differently. It, has, it lights up in different patterns than somebody who has chronic pain. So unfortunately, we don't have um, functional MRI machines hanging out on every block where we can diagnose somebody with chronic pain simply by sticking them in the MRI and scanning their brain. So in the clinical setting, we look at a lot of different things. Definitely, how long have the symptoms been around? That is, that is one thing that we'll look at if we're trying to determine if somebody's dealing with symptoms that have become chronic. Obviously, if we're talking about, you know, definitely more than six months, more than one year, more than two years, five years, the longer and longer and longer pain has been around, we can definitely give it the term chronic. We also look at um, how do the symptoms behave? Um, are the symptoms constant? Do they have a flare up to them? Does that, that means does, do you experience periods of time where your pain is a lot worse and then periods of time where your pain is a little bit more quiet? Uh, we also look at how reactive your pain is. For example, we would expect that just moving, if someone comes in with shoulder pain, if we just move the arm up overhead and back down again, if the shoulder uh, doesn't have any obvious tissue injury, for example, the patient's had an MRI already to rule out any kind of tears or any injury or damage in the shoulder, if the shoulder doesn't have any obvious tissue injury, moving the shoulder up overhead really shouldn't cause extreme pain, but it might and it might linger for several days, even sometimes several weeks after making the patient move the arm. So that lets us know just how sensitive or reactive the system is. Um, so when we talk about chronic, it has, the term has um, a stigma associated with it. And I'm gonna tell you that in our clinical setting, the patients who are coming in with chronic pain or maybe not what you would expect. Most of the patients that we're seeing are people that have been or continue to be very, very active. Runners, cyclists, exercisers. Um, these patients hold down full-time jobs. They can be heads of companies. They run families. They're very, very busy. And yet they live with chronic pain. 
How that impacts is completely unique. So every patient has a unique experience when it comes to chronic pain. But these are not people that are addicted to pain medications. These are patients that are trying to live every life to the best that they can while still dealing with constant pain. So I hope that helps, um, certainly in your own personal understanding of a diagnosis that maybe you thought it was one thing and it's really something else. Um, and I hope that it helps you understand if you have another family, if you have a family member that's living with chronic symptoms, to understand really what's that diagnosis um, when we look at it as clinical um, professionals, what are we looking for? Thanks, have a good one.